What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today I have a simple question for you guys. Do you guys want to keep an eye on your competitor or better yet spy on your competitor and their products, what they are selling in the category, uh, what their FPA fees are and best of all, what kind of words people are using to review their product? Why do we care about that, right? If you really want to do a proper product launch, right, you got to do all your due diligence and research to figure out what the problem is people are having with these products and what uh, problem is actually this product solving, right? So that's what you want to know. Your job here is to figure out how to address the, uh, your customer in a marketable way. So that's why we do this. So if you want to know, if you want to find out exactly what kind of words are used or what kind of um, what kind of problems you want to address in your product listing so that you can entice the customer to buy your product and show them that, hey, this product is going to solve that. This is it, guys. This video is for you guys, and I'm going to show you guys through Helium 10 how that's done. OK, we're going to start simply by just going to Amazon. All right. OK, so let's search for something like laptop bags. All right, so it is laptop bags. So again, guys, the reason we want to do this is because we want to be able to sell our product as fast as possible with high volume so we can make a lot of money. Because at the end of the day, this is what it's all about, right? Amazon is all about finding profitable products and making money. So this technique is sure to really optimize your listing, really make it marketable and really capture the buyer's attention. So that's why we're doing this. And it's a really cool tool, Helium 10, that it actually allows you guys to do this. So again, guys, it's the Chrome extension that is absolutely free. You got to install it to your web browser, your Chrome web browser. And that's it, guys. So when you go to page one, right? As I've told you guys before, when you search for a product, certain things from Chrome extension already loads up. Like you will have the ASIN number, you will have like the ranking of the product, and uh, it'll tell you who's it sold by. It's an Amazon FBA seller, how many sellers are in that specific bag category, and you can actually calculate the fees here as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly, I just wanna quickly show you guys what was available before. So you got the X-ray version of um, uh, Helium 10, uh, which basically gives you insight into the activity of the listings on page one, two, and three, and so on. So that's one thing that I've shown you guys. You got the ASIN, you can actually find out the ASIN number, but the key is to actually find a competitor that you're interested in. So I wanted to sell this kind of laptop back, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the listing, because when you actually go inside and go look at the listing, your options for Helium 10 Chrome extension actually changes and you get a few more options that open up and can really provide you a lot of benefits. So when you first go to the main product listing, like I mean the general, when you're doing your main search, right? Don't get discouraged. Helium 10 has a lot more tools when you actually go inside the product listing. So. Uh, let's take a look at this quickly. So there is a little bit of data that loads up so you can at a glance see you have access to the x-ray, the keywords, which is the Cerebro um, uh, tool of Helium 10. Again, that's named after Cerebro from X-Men because you can keep or you can spy on your competitors. You got the profitability calculator, but this is all also available here. You see how I have installed the Helium 10 Chrome extension? So X-Ray is still there, right? You got the profitability calculator. Now this is actually a really cool, unique tool because it actually tells you how much profit you're gonna make with this type of product. So you, here you have the dimensions, the weight, uh, how many pounds it is, um, size tier, is it st considered a large standard size, what have you, by Amazon, um, how much it's selling. It's selling for 19.49, so that's how much the seller is selling it for. 
estimated time in storage you can say okay it stays in storage for one month so that gives you an idea of how fast these bags sell depending on how many units the uh, seller brings in uh, the cost to manufacture this thing is three dollars and nine cents now you can play again you can actually play with these numbers based on your numbers so you might be manufacturing this stuff at 2.5 dollars right so you can actually see your profitability based on that you can actually um, see that like you can actually increase it decrease it and the prices change accordingly estimated freight cost per cubic meter so how much the freight cost will be per cubic meter that's not per unit guys so just FYI um, unit freight cost is about 87 cents to bring it into an Amazon FBA warehouse your storage fees are about 11 cents from January to September and then October to December just because it's peak season uh, it's 37 cents and your FBA fees are about four dollars and 76 cents for this product so that kind of gives you an idea of how much profit you're gonna make um, again uh, this referral fee if there is a referral fee you'll pay a referral fee other costs is zero now you are gonna make six dollars and ninety six cents to six dollars and seven seventy cents right so about like let's say average about seven dollars per unit you're gonna make profit on selling this product for nineteen dollars and forty nine cents now I don't suggest anything below 50% just because you want to have a higher margin and higher profitability but nonetheless like it's still not a bad product if you're selling volume you can actually make good amount of money so that's your profitability calculator. What I'm really excited to show you guys is the review downloader, okay? Which is right here. You can actually check the inventory levels as well. I'm just gonna quickly click on it so that you guys can see what kind of information is available. So that just like uh, quickly loads up this listing and it tells you like how many is in stock. So give it a second. Um, BSR, so yeah, that's your bestseller ranking, that's available too. So this person has 1,000 plus in their stock. You see that uh, for this product, like he keeps a high stock, so uh, the turnaround time is about a month like we saw in the profitability calculator. Um, but then again, those numbers could be something different depending on where you're bringing your product, where you're selling it and everything. So let's go through the downloader the review downloader because that is the most powerful tool i think which is my favorite one besides x-ray that you can actually have some value in there so review downloader you can actually choose what level of reviews do you want you want a one star reviews two star reviews i normally like to get everything i just want to know everything right so you can actually say okay i want reviews from let's say august you can actually go back as far back as you want so august 1st to september 25th or so what have you so um i'm just gonna do let's say i'll just do it till the end of august just so you get a full month's worth of data or maybe we can even do it till september so uh, we can always uh we can always go a little bit further down we can go to today but or we can go to whatever date doesn't matter so and then you're gonna you can click if you want only verified purchases only helpful with images or what have you i just want everything again guys you want to download everything because that will paint a much broader picture for you guys so we're going to extract this data okay so you will see that it actually extracts you got uh, this customer has about 1061 reviews in total and it is gonna search based on the timeline that we put in, how many reviews were put in during that timeline, and then it's gonna extract those specific reviews. Now, for you to actually do a full analysis, you can actually go back as far as you want, as far as the first day of the listing, right? But I just didn't wanna, uh, I just didn't want it to like take up a lot of time and load up. So I, that's why I'm just doing it for about like almost two months. Now you see you get all kinds of like data here. You got the ASIN numbers, the different styles that this uh, FBA seller is selling, um, how many reviews um, they have per style. So you can, can see, so you can see like how many percent of that review share belongs to which style of bag and what color. So that basically tells you what kind of styles are very popular. Now you guys know that I always suggest not to have too many colors or too many styles just because you will be left over with a lot of inventory. So that's why you want to make sure you choose, let's say the top five. So we're going to see what top, uh, uh, basically colors and combinations and 
sizes are actually popular. You can tell that based on the review count, based on how many reviews each one shares and what the ratings are. So you can actually say, okay, these are the top five that I'm going to look at and I'm going to sell and I'm not going to sell the other one. So this person has a lot of them. You see, that's why he has thousand plus inventory. So I, I would assume that let's say for the most popular one, they probably have like say 400 units while something that is not popular, that is a bigger bag or a color that is not too popular. They probably have like 15 or 20, you know what I mean? So that's how you can analyze that based on this data. Now, the second thing is that in the bottom, you will see people's reviews. They're basically uh, based on the timeline they were put in, and then the star is right beside it to see how many star reviews they were given. So this person's actually good. He's getting four and five stars, some three stars, not too many one or two stars. So the part that becomes very crucial for you guys is the analysis. So when you click on analysis right here, what does this do is search all those reviews that we pulled for that specific time period and says, let me show you what are the top keywords that were used in those reviews. So the shoulder strap was used about six times in the in the reviews that we pulled. So for the month, it was used about six times. If you want to go for a higher timeline, you will see that probably the shoulder strap was used a lot more. So maybe maybe let's do a little bit of a deeper dive because I just want to make sure that you guys get the full picture. Okay, we're just gonna go back in and we are gonna wait. Let's go to review downloader. Let's go back a full year so that we can get a full picture. So 2018, we're gonna say from September 1st, uh, 2018, we'll keep our today to September 25, which is good. Let's extract that quickly. And the key is to find most popular words used in these reviews because that will tell you what problems not only this product is having or what kind of concerns people have with this product or what they're trying to solve with this product. So that will allow you to actually address those concerns and make sure those keywords are used in your own listing to really address the concerns of your buyers. Okay, so we're going to go to analysis. We've gone through this stuff before. Now, you see, the shoulder strap is still number one. It means that either there's some kind of problem with the shoulder strap uh, that people are having. Now, the review is good, so four. So they must really like the shoulder strap or they want this bag to have a shoulder strap, right? Let me just quickly check. It does have a shoulder strap, as you guys can see. So you know the, that you got to emphasize the shoulder strap in your listing. MacBook Air, that's the second word, which is used 14 times in these reviews. What does that mean? That means that people want to know if this uh, bag is for MacBook Air or a MacBook Air would fit inside this bag. So you see that MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. So you got to address those. Say, hey, guys, this is perfect for MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. It's a great bag, great quality. You guys see the next few words are bag, quality, and uh, other things that you can pick that could be very important, right? So let's say lightweight. That's another one that you want to make sure you incorporate into your listing. Uh, zipper broke. So that's a concern. Means that when you are actually sourcing your bag, you want to make sure it's a high quality zipper. So and also address that in your listing. Say it's a high quality. The zipper has like a couple years of warranty, what have you. Like I'm just uh, throwing it out there, but you got to really market the hell out of this. Okay. So laptop fits, you want to make sure you tell them what sizes of laptops fits in this specific bag. And uh, I usually like to go normally like up to the top 100 words, just so I can cover my basis and see how many times the and they're like a combination of words, right? Um, a lot of people are saying bag is amazing and this and that. So that stuff is good because those are positive reviews. But what you're looking for are basically um, concerns and uh, problems and also what it solves. So for my laptop, yes, it is for laptop. I can fit. Basically, people are asking, can I fit this size? So you got to let them know what size of laptops can fit in this bag. Uh, here, you actually got the dimensions. So you got to make sure you mention the dimensions of laptops that can fit within this bag. Um, what else? Does it have a handle on the side? So that kind of stuff. 
So you guys see how powerful it is to you can actually uh, if the, if if you find a specific product that you're also trying to sell uh, that you want to get into that market you want to know how to really take it up a notch this is it guys this is going to solve a lot of problems for you guys and it's really going to set you up for success so you can actually make a lot of money on amazon thanks again guys i really appreciate your time on this i hope this video really helped you guys out if you have any specific questions about the chrome extension or anything about the review downloader please please put it in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys next time have a good one